Hey everyone, I wanted to make a bonus video for you this week. You might have seen on the internet recently that video of the worm squirting something really terrifying out of its mouth. And then there was another one recently of like the mystery slime creature from Taiwan. Well, as you might already know, those are both ribbon worms. But since they've been in the news so much, and since people keep asking me about them, I wanted to share some weird trivia about these guys with you since they're totally fascinating creatures. Okay, so ribbon worms are actually in their own phylum which I think is pronounced Nemertia. And there are over a thousand species of them. And they come in a huge variety of sizes. Some of them are just a few millimeters long, and some of them can be over 30 meters long. Most ribbon worms are carnivores, and some are actually parasitic. In fact, there are certain species that have plagued the Dungeness crab industry on the West Coast. Something they all have in common is the tongue-like structure you see shooting out in the videos. That's called a proboscis, and it's used for feeding. It's actually stored inside of their body and then turned inside out as they shoot it out at their prey. One last fact I wanted to mention is something I actually posted about on Facebook a few weeks ago, which I found on io9. So certain marine ribbon worms will go through a larval phase after hatching, and the larva will swim around the ocean totally happily for a few weeks until a tiny baby ribbon worm starts growing inside of it. And this baby ribbon worm actually eats its way through its larval self and then emerges and lives the rest of its life out on the ocean floor. It, it's really weird. It's basically like a worm that eats itself. Does that make sense? Or it like eats its baby self. I don't know, it's very strange. It's very hard to wrap your mind around. Anyway, there are lots of other amazing facts about these guys. They secrete mucus, they can regenerate parts of their body, they have very diverse mating habits. But for way more on this, there's actually a really awesome Smithsonian article that I'm linking to in the description. I'm also including links to some of the primary sources I used for this video. Um, so let me know if you have any questions, and thank you so much for watching. See you next week. Bye. Mucus. Ew.